Yankees and one of the oh hey how you doing well it's back to school time so I'm getting my supplies ready these are school supplies right and eh, who cares Ooh, we need some turf well, I guess we should talk about some new things that came in. Welcome back to What's New at Yankee Dabbler. My name is DJ, and today we're going to be talking about some new items that possibly could be on your layout. Hopefully. And we're going to start out with some buildings, and we're going to go back to Woodland Scenics. And we have here Carver's Butcher Shop. Woo! If you like the meat, you want to get the butcher shop. Check out this puppy. As you can see here, I have incredibly detailed side panelings windows, grime, signs, everything that you can imagine that you usually see in a Woodland Scenic building. It's all there for you. I love this building. I think this is really cool, especially if you're a meat lover, you're going to get one of these. I like the little garden hose there off to the side too. That's kind of cool. And of course for you and Skellies, yes, I do have one for you too. So you can get your little tiny steaks uh, cut up and ready to go to serve to your patrons on your railroad. Now you might be asking, how much are these things? Well, I got the answer for you. Honey, have a great day at work. I love, oh, that's something else. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we go. All right. So for the HO version right here. This one retails for $89.99. We're selling it here at Yankee Dabbler for $71.99. And then for the end scale one, that one retails for $57.99. We're selling that for $46.39. Might seem like a lot, but as I said before, these are greatly detailed buildings. You cannot do any better getting uh, the, the most detail for your buck there on your layout. So come into Yankee Dabbler, check these out, as well as a lot of the other Woodland Scenic buildings. I guarantee you get a couple of those on your layout, you're going to be the envy of all of your friends that have a train layout. So it's hard to believe that September 11th was 20 years ago this year, but to commemorate the Fallen, Atherin has come up with these cars that the Wisconsin and Sutter did to commemorate the Fallen. Check out these 50-foot double plug door box cars that they just came out with, and all commemorating September 11th and the troops and everything else Americana. If you take a look here, I have here a day we'll never forget. September 11, 2001. I have this one here. We support our troops, and we certainly do here at Yankee Dabbler. We have here God Bless America, 9-11 on that one. And then this one actually is for the U.S. Air Force, and it actually has the U.S. Air Force phone number on there. So these are really cool looking cars, as you can see. I just love the detailing, and of course, I love anything that has America uh, on it. I always enjoy. I have a lot of that stuff on my railroad here. And these cars are great just with all the detailing with the little, the little writing and everything on here. These are really neat looking cars here. Metal wheels that glide on the track. These cars here retail. Again, let me get my cheat sheet out here. So these re uh, cars retail for $29.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $24.99. It's a great deal for some really cool looking box cars. And it's an uh, economic set so you can get all four of them and have these going on your layout. And I guarantee you will really enjoy these things and uh, you'll feel patriotic rather than on your railroad. So come into Yankee Dabbler and check these guys out. Time to go for some end scale items here. We have the Pullman Standard Cover Hoppers here from Atlas. I really enjoy these cars as well. As you can see, I have a multitude of different row names, a bunch of different colors here. Everything from the D&H to the Northern Pacific. We got the Conrail, the Rock, one of my favorites. I got the ADM and, of course, the Sioux Line. And these are really cool looking cars as well, especially if you're an end scaler here particularly like the Sioux line there you see this all the little detailing that goes with n-scale cars you know it's hard to believe that you know a bunch of years ago when they were making n-scale products they didn't have nearly as much detailing and itemization that they have here on these cars here so these are really cool and atlas does a phenomenal job you know you're getting a good product with these cars so these cars retail for $33.95, but we're selling them for $23.79. That's a great price, especially if you want to get a whole bunch of them, come up with a nice unit train of covered hoppers. I highly recommend these guys. So come have these pulling some loads on your layout today because I think you're really going to like them. We're going to continue with end scale. And we're going to take a look at some diesel locomotives that scale trains just got in their yard. And while we take a look at these diesel locomotives here, and I think you're going to be happy with these engines as you can see here the first one i have is a norfolk southern c-40-9 or dash nine for you rail fans out there and i got a couple of burlington northern santa fe is these are the c44s dash nine w's i got two variations and including 
this locomotive right here, which is pretty interesting, this is what we call the Franken Loco. It's alive! Maybe. Uh, but this is a really cool engine because what happened here is this is actually an engine that was involved in some type of incident. And what happens here is you have the old paint scheme with the new paint scheme thrown into it. So I think that's kind of cool, the Franken Loco design. If you take a look at the Dash 9 over here, you're going to see that this is an older style locomotive. You're not really seeing these engines on the uh, roads too much. Um, they're actually getting rebuilt uh, into other locomotives. But as you can see here, this is what they call the Top Hat version because it has the air conditioning view, um, event right over the uh, air conditioning unit right over the cab there. And so that is a really neat looking design. These are just great looking detailed locomotives here. Yeah, why don't we get one a little bit closer here and I'll show you the BNSF. As you can see there, just everything that you can imagine that you would want from a diesel locomotive. You got the ditch lights right there. You got all the labels and various warnings. I mean, I like that radiator design in the back. I think that's really cool. So this is a great looking locomotive here. And since uh, I know we're still in September, but you know, Halloween keeps getting pushed further and further. I think we're going to celebrate it in June pretty soon. Let's pull Let's run the Franken Loco and bring it to life! Maybe. So I had my assistant Igor plug in the system to bring it to life! Let's see! It's alive! It's alive! Alright, so as you can hear there, we got the startup sequence. Let's take a listen to the horn. I got the bell. Alright, as you can see there, I got the ditch lights on. So away we go. Let's back her up. And let's pull, uh, pick up my hopper train. All aboard! Woo, that's a fun looking engine. So you can have this one and the other two that we looked at here. And I do have a couple of different uh, locomotive designs with different numbers on there. So if you want to get a couple, you can have some different numbers. They retail for $294.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $234.99. That is a great deal to get on these diesel locomotives. I know a lot of people are were anxiously waiting for these engines to come out. And some of them have already flown, uh, flown off the shelf. So if you're interested in getting one of these engines, Check out our website, yankeedabbler.com, and see if you can get these engines pulling your trains today.
It's time for some of my favorite types of diesel locomotives in the modern era. And of course, I'm talking about these F40 PHs from Walther's. Let's take a look at these diesel locomotives. As you can see, these are instantly recognizable diesel uh, locomotives for those of us who are familiar with Antrax. These essentially were the face of Antrax from the early 80s all the way almost into the mid 90s. These diesel locomotives are really cool looking. As you can see here, I have the phase two paint scheme. I have the phase three paint scheme, which is actually my favorite phase there with the red, white, and blue coloring. And then believe it or not, these engines also operated up north in Canada. We have there the Via Rail, and that is a really cool looking design as well. Well, I got my phase three locomotive here. As you can see, I don't necessarily have all the incredible detailing that I have with some of the other diesel locomotives that we have seen, but you still get a really nice body look here for the price that we have here. Now, these diesel locomotives, if I remember correctly, these diesel locomotives retail for $199.98. We're selling them here for $159.99. That is a great deal for a, um, a really cool looking diesel locomotive. And these are very popular. A lot of people that like the model Amtrak cannot do it successfully unless you have one of these pulling those Amfleet cars of yours. All right. So these are really cool diesel locomotives. Now, these have the ESU essential chips in them. Okay. So you get pretty basic. You have the engine revving, the horn, and the bell. That's about it. But again, for the price of what you're getting for these diesel engines, I think you're going to be pretty happy, especially if you're an Amtrak fan. So let's get this on the rails and see what she sounds like. All right, let's start her up, shall we? For those of you who have ever seen these in person, I can testify that those are the correct sounds for this engine. All aboard. While I'm here, why don't I pick up my All American Boxcar train while I'm here? All boom! Arriving on track one, train number 338, Ozzy Osbourne's Crazy Train. All aboard! Okay, I stopped. All right, 
I had that properly. <laughs> All right, so that is a really cool looking diesel locomotive. And again, if you're not looking to spend a lot of money and to get a pretty basic diesel locomotive, but does have DCC capability, has some pretty decent sounds. I gotta say that I was pretty impressed with that sound system. Coming to Yankee Dabbler and check it out. As you saw, we have a couple different variations. And I think you're gonna enjoy them, especially if you're modeling an Amtrak uh, train on your layout. I think you definitely need one of those diesels pulling their uh, your passenger trains so come in check them out you'll be happy with them all the items that you saw here are available on our website yankeedabler.com and of course you can always come into our star located at belmar new jersey we're open tuesday through saturday 9 a.m to 5 p.m all right so anything that you're looking for in our show plus things that we don't have and we even have some items that we have yet to review and we're going to be getting to them to your uh, youtube screen very soon as i've been mentioning we are trying to do something really cool to showcase your layouts because i know we have a lot of really cool layouts out there some of you have different scales different whatever we want to see them so what i want you to do is i want you to email some videos or pictures to engineer hall channel at gmail.com and we'll get you into the fall layout extravaganza Woo! yeah it's gonna be the coolest thing ever okay now we're gonna make the cutoff day for this halloween october 31st so please send that to us before halloween to guarantee that you'll get in the show and then the next show after halloween will be our fall layout extravaganza we're gonna have a lot of fun seeing what you guys have in store for us i'm interested to see what we model what type of engines we have what type of rolling stock and if we have a theme or no theme at all we'll find out all right, well, I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And our rail fan video for this week is going to be going down to uh, Chattanooga, actually, to the Tennessee Valley Railway Museum, where you're going to see Mikado number 4501 pulling the train on one of the Somerville excursions to Somerville, Georgia. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you again here at Yankee Dabbler, where every day is a train show. Now, if you excuse me, i got to continue my back-to-school shopping. Let's see, the list said color pencil. So that's street lights, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Ooh, and then of course you need uh, glue or, you know, hobby glue. That looks good. Oh, definitely power caps. Need one of them. Okay, yeah, we're doing good. Oh man, kids are going to do great this year. Ooh, Zephyr. Need one of those.